season three of In The Red. We have come stateside. America, baby! It might be time to let the big dog eat. Woo. Oh, European bench is out here in America. Oh, it's gotta hurt. Seeing a ball fly against the blue sky. Gotta get down wet and get into the grass. Yeah, I like it out here. Weather's good, people are good, golf courses are good, food's good. Can't really ask for much more than that. Season three of In the Red, we have come stateside. We are on the west coast of America. We're in California and we're at the beautiful Twin Oaks Golf Resort today. It's gonna to be 18 holes. It's the first in season three. Last time we went pretty well, season two got better. Let's hope that we kick it off and it's as warm as this sunshine. Hole one, we're getting into it. Twin Oaks, let's go. So a little bit before we tee off on Twin Oaks on the first, it's a par 72, this golf course. It's 6,535 yards long. Actually celebrating their 30th year here this year. It was um, designed by a chap who actually designed one of the PGA courses, Ted, I can't remember his surname. Ted something, we'll, we'll pop it up there. Ted Robinson, I think. But, uh, it should be a pretty, pretty good test. The greens look really quick. Doesn't look like there's loads of undulation out here, but it's tight. I know that much. We've, uh, we've had a little bit of a look round. It looks tight. Greens are quick. It's going to be a good, good little test. Let's see if we can get off to a nice start. Par four, the first is 360 yards. There's a bunker at 250, so it's only an iron to ease us off. And let's see how we go, folks. Comment down below. What are we shooting? What are we shooting? That should do us. Fairway found, not the best strike, but we're away. We're down the fairway. It's a good start. Let's go, baby. So this series of In The Red, we're gonna try and set a goal before we go out every time as well. And today, there's only three par threes out here. So I want to try and hit out of the other 15 fairways. I want to try and hit at least 10 of the fairways. That was one of the things that improved from um, season to season last time from one to two of In The Red. Definitely noticed having the shot scope stuff on helped me see and identify my problems. So I think I want to carry on that and see those things trend better because I got better scores as I did that. Greens wise as well, I want to try and get today if I can 70% of greens hit. And I want to try and make, if I can, four birdies because I think there's quite a few opportunities out there so those are my things we've also got some little bits of data from shot scope about the the round the lowest round 71 one under so if we can beat that and I think the longest drive is about 376 yards so if we can beat that as well we're not only a long dog but we're going to be under par first shot let's go come on we've hit the first fairway so there's one of one ticked off need to get used to yardages as well because on the range the ball was going so far normally in october in england i would have at least four jumpers on a snood a bob hat waterproofs as we're here looking swaggy looking swaggy the ball is going far as the sun is out 141 yards oh no that is not a good swing that is so far right well that is a traditional in the red start hit a good tee shot then cock it up Hmm, interesting. Well, like missing one's mouth with a spoon is missing a green with a wedge. And we have done just that. Luckily, if I can just get this out, it's a little bit fried eggy. If I can get it out onto the front or just near the fringe, it should bounce down. played it how I wanted I need to, to landed that about 10 foot right but shouldn't have been here in the first place we leave ourselves a bit of a tester at the first which after that tee shot didn't think I would have but there's lots of golf to be played I would have hit it not the start we wanted over here in Merca. Little bogey to start the season. Hopefully, it's one of very few we have this season, but you know what, sun shining. Of course, it's fabulous. I'm not that fussed. 
I'm annoyed about this in the green with a wedge, but you know, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Let's roll on, let's keep it going, baby. Second hole here at Twin Oaks is 493 yards of par four bunker. Down the left, that's 240, but again, a very, very narrow fairway. Got to keep it sort of in play for the first few holes, I think, and then it's very similar on the back nine. There's a few where you've really just got to not go for distance, but just go for accuracy. So four iron. Let's see if we can get it on the fairway again and try and take it on from there. It's not my best strike, but it's the direction we wanted. Just a bit steery at the minute, but we'll get there. Two fairways out of two, that's what we wanted. Right, another fairway hit for us, 270. Bit of a cambering this one, left to right, so ball should technically get a bit of lemonade on it. I'm gonna go up the left side, if I can get this on, perfect. If not, I should leave myself a pretty simple chip. There's only bunkers up on the right of the green, really, so let's see if we can put together a nice golf swing here. Well, it's looking good. It struck well. Just shy, and we should have a nice little pitch there. That was nice seeing a ball fly against a blue sky. It's warm. <laughs> Could get used to America. America, baby! I'm out of here. A little different to a Manchester lie, that one. Sat up on sort of like a, a Brillo pad like grass, it is really really thick and prickly sat really nice i think the big thing with chipping here you've got to be committed and you want to be quite shallow off this and just bruise it depending on if it's growing into you or growing away from you luckily this is growing to the flag so i should be able to just sweep this off pretty nicely it's like a 20 yard pitch if we can get a bit of grab on it hopefully nestle it pretty close here just a little bit dug of the heel there and it flipped the club face but we've got a chance of a birdie we're scared of that going out right because of how below my feet it was and didn't quite counteract for it it's hard adjusting to a different country like i think that's one thing that's dead underrated about like all the tall pros and the different courses they go to every week, how much difference there is in the grass and how different you have to play like your chip shots and how you strike things and adjusting to it. It's one heck of a skill, so fair play to them. Fair play to them. I suppose that's why they're dead good. Didn't commit. Well, it's a par. Should have probably hit a bit of a better chip, but we'll take it. A little nerve settler at the second. Let's keep pushing. Keep ticking off our little goals. And we should put a good round together. It's nice playing in the sun. I could get used to this. We're moving. Me and the missus, we're moving. Third hole here is 188 yards to the flag today. A little par three, cross a little bit of a ravine sort of brook going through the hole flags in a quite nice position so straight in the centre see what we can do front edge we've got a birdie putt was a little bit chunky not quite got the strike we had on the driving range I can feel it coming, I can feel it. America, yeah! A lot better than I actually first thought. I've only got 10 feet here, which is nice. A little left to right in it. I think this will be my biggest challenge today, holding putts, they look, greens look good, the surfaces probably look quicker than they are, but it's just getting the subtle breaks on them each time. A little bit bolder than I expected on that. 
little bit bolder. It's another par though. We just keep ticking along like that, give ourselves chances, we'll, we'll get them. And we can go from there. Flag game, let's have a look. Not bad that, we'll take that to an oak leaf, oak leaf. Font of knowledge I am, font of knowledge. If you need anything to, about America, hit me up. Fourth hole here is 367 yards. Some very well placed bunkers out here, 250 and 251. And then it goes into like a little valley and then you sweep up onto the green. At the minute, I've not seen a shot where I'm confident enough to get driver out because if you just miss the fairway at the minute on these first few, you're off down into uh, the dingly dell, so. one of the traps, get down. I think it's short of it. Not 100% sure, but it's nicely struck. We shall soon find out. We've stayed short of the bunkers, but because I'm behind the mounds now, I'm very much blind. So this shot, uh, luckily I can see those bits, so that's not too bad. We'll go 50, we can hit a full one off here. I think we should be pretty good. Ball's going about 10% further than normal out here at the minute. I'm just gonna change up a little bit because there's a little bit of wind up there and with that fluffy lie, if it comes out a little bit high on the club face, it's not gonna get all the way there. So, just a three quarter wedge. And we're good. I think it's good. I think it's back right of the green. Hard to see that down in the sunshine, but felt good. Glad I adjusted, because I only hit that three quarters and I'm about 10 feet past pin high. So, looks like I'm adjusting nicely, which is always nice. Let's see if we can go and hold the putt. Remember everyone, playing golf, always repair your pitch marks or else the pitch mark monster will get you. Oh, and he's a rascal. Downhill, this one looks a little bit sneaky. This looks a little bit sneaky. Downhill, left to right. I think if we just cozy this one up, if it drops in, perfect. If not, it's not the sort of putt you really have a race at this. This one, if it drops in the front door, you bow. You thank the golf gods and you move on. No, I was about to bow then midway. Oh, I thought that was in. Ah, oh, that tracks so nicely all the way down and just broke at the end, but we're ticking them off. We're ticking them off nicely here. Four pars in a row, guys. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the start of the new In The Red series. We've got, I think, two more rounds coming from In The Red. We've got 30 shot challenges as well with some great people coming from over here. And then we've got some other places that are going to be interesting for the next part of the series. So stay tuned. Let's get on to the next. It might be time to let the big dog eat. Woof. I don't know whether it's the sun getting to me, but we're on the fifth hole and it's 564 yards. There's some water at 380 and I'm contemplating whether if driver is too much, probably, probably okay. So just a nice little cut driver over the bunker that's at 240. It's a little downwind. If we get it out on the fairway, knock it up, tap it in. Cheers, thanks for coming in the red, season two, three, four, five. It's down the right of the fairway. Oh, stay on the fairway. Oh, come back just literally into the semi. Little European Ventus out here in America. Ooh, it's got to hurt. It's only 220 up onto the front. I think if I get a really good five iron, I'll probably squeeze it up on. Just with that lie, a little bit of grass behind it. I think that's the play, five iron. 
and just just leave it up the right hand side and we're, we're all golden from there only thing i've got to watch out for here ball slightly above my feet so it might go a bit left but i'm playing for that fade so it should hold it up come on wind push it now travel ah it's pitched right on top of the hill before the green if it had a shot forwards it would have been good it's pitched pin, pin high front of the green and just took in a bit of a nasty bounce but up and down we're ticking along nicely the ball's actually going where i'm aiming it today which is just a totally different experience than what i'm used to but i'll take it i will take it it's also a bit odd how warm it is and the leaves on the ground don't seem to go hand in hand in that when this happens in england it's very very cold normally but i've got shorts on and i'm, I'm very warm and there's a lot of leaves around very strange prospect that but we're not far from pin high here nice little lie just pop it onto the front of the green let it trickle down and uh hopefully it should be a pretty straightforward up and down oh matthew that came out so much better than i thought it would I literally saw that sort of flopping forwards just been a little bit rusty with the chips thus far. A little bit tentative, one might say. I feel like we've let a few opportunities go. But, another look at Birdie. It's not long now. Keep giving yourself the chances. Keep knocking on the door. Someone's got to open it. Please, please open the door. Get that flag out and just censor sense a hole out here. Oh, that one stings. That one stings a lot. That one stings a lot. Oh, poor chip that led to that good drive, good five iron. Ah, just a poor chip, but let's keep going. Stay positive, five holes in. I feel like I've I've got my full swing going. It is just those little chips, just a little bit nervy on the last couple, thinking like, mm, how are they gonna buy it? How are they gonna react, sort of club into the grass and been a little bit heavy handed, just thinking, right, get the strike and sort of what's the touch side of it. But we're settling down, we're going good. One over after five. I think next five or end this nine under par and we're right on track. Course as well is really nice. It's. Uh, tight off the tee greens are good sneaky sneaky greens subtle subtle breaks that you've really got to pay attention to they've all moved just a little bit more than i thought but let's keep going let's see how we go six hole here's 365 yards going back into the wind some bunkers at 250 i was thinking driver but there's a bit of a sort of like dead ground in between the bunkers and the flag and it looks a little bit gnarly so i'm gonna hit a, an iron down and then i should have a pretty nice pitch at it and then takes any guessing out of the game so a little four iron down the left and we should be good from there then it's down the left needs a little bounce right though pretty soft bounce that didn't quite get my fade should be okay though should be a flick on with a wedge 155 i've left myself got it down the left i thought it would have kicked right off this large slope but we've just sort of dug in up here so hanging lie ball should move right which is good because i can aim up a little bit more off the left because the fall off of the greens all down the right so 155 into the wind i've got my eight iron just go up the left and hopefully it just moves back onto the flag ideally I hope that's a good yardage because it's all over the stick. Oh, it looks about three or four feet. That was really well struck. I enjoyed that one. Commitment, commitment into the sun. Let's see if we can convert this chance. We need to, we need some it. Get going, boy. Maybe not three or four feet. Maybe, maybe seven or eight. Maybe seven or eight. 
but still another chance still another chance the uh the distance i think i've dialed into now and the iron swings nice just need those wedges stay up no oh, just again oh another par death by pars it seems at the minute just not quite getting the greens that was slick and broke a little bit more than i thought but just got to keep it going don't get frustrated keep ticking them off keep ticking them off keep ticking them off seventh hole here at twin oaks is their signature hole a par three over water supposedly a load of turtles in the water it's 180 into the wind today two tier green just got to get it up onto the back and then we're good from there six iron into this wind little cutty one bit slappy I think it's it's right in the middle of the tears and it's starting to come back down which isn't ideal oh didn't quite get that one didn't quite get that one but two putts from distance doing okay on my greens hitting reg anyway onwards right not as far away as first thought i think if i actually caught that six iron half decent that bunker would have been in play but our first real testing put here up the hill coming up the tier little bit of break on it not like that you won't do it pulling it wow great pace huge pull that's what they call me, the huge puller. Known for my pulling prowess. Well, it's another par, folks. Just need to find some birdies, because pars, although they're good, it's had boring. Our eighth hole, 337 yards up into the flag. Bunkers at 245, 254 to go out. And then one up at the green that starts at 310 yards. So it is all out driver. Try and keep it up the left, ideally, at the tree behind the green, which would lead me a pitch across if we didn't get it up on there. I think my driving distance will generally go up here because of the, the heat. The ball's going so much further through the air. It's not like playing in Manchester soup. It's a little bit thinner in San Diego air. Big drive. Let's see what we can get. If we get it in the trap, even that's, even that's not a bad, bad miss. Oh, I've hit it too far left. I think that's just by the path of the other fairway there. That wasn't ideal. Oh well. Right, a little bit off track here, bit of a pull. I'm pretty much pin high, but just 30, well, 55 yards left of the flag. Avoids all the trouble. We've got a bit of mound behind it. Oh, this is an interesting one. Right. 55, 60 degree. It's going to go obviously straight up over this mound. Oh, it's dug the heel again, that. Should be on the green. Should have a putt. Snags the, uh, the club, this stuff. It doesn't look too bad, but soon as the club gets into it with a bit of speed the heel just catches and flips over really aggressively i was thinking i could put it over that fringe but it just looks a tad tad fluffy old fluffy mcflufferson that was the name of my first cat old fluffy bags little 50 now just pop it on little chip and run shouldn't be again should be pretty straightforward this Get there, get there. Touchdown in the land of the dreams and hopes. First birdie, little chip in one. Oh, that's better than having those loose, loose little chips. A nice little end over ender. That gets us back to level par after eight, folks. Oh, fairways, greens weren't good there. Don't matter if you can wedge it though. Right, onto the ninth. Let's close this nine out in style.
the ninth hole to top us off has a little bit of agua in front of the green some bunkers down at 245 235 260 and then 308 so we're just going to position it into the fairway and then leave a wedge across let's finish strong this hole a little bit left not quite getting that fade at the minute should be okay but uh just not getting that the face is just a bit short but it's playable managing the golf ball see if i was doing that with driver i'd be in a world of trouble gotta know your onions kids gotta know your onions not quite got this fairways nailed down i think i started off with a bang and then we faded a little bit because that's another one missed missed quite a few i think i've only hit three in this nine might even be less than that so got to be good on the back nine but we've got 135 good news is pretty straightforward shot it's 122 to cover the water so pitching wedge just a bit left of the flag just let it fall back onto it not a clue felt a bit right but a good strike we'll see when we get up there this is a serious putt just got a bit of a jumper out of the rough and now i've got to go up over the crest of the hill and then down the crest of the hill i think this is going to be a very good two putt if we do manage to two putt it i'm going to go up here be fairly straight then it's going to come down here and break into the to the hole from up here but I'm gonna be a bit sneaky from here right left ourselves some work on this final hole of the nine that's a terrible putt that is a really bad putt just whacked it through the break well I probably overcomplicated that a little bit too much in my mind I wasn't as bad down the slope as I was thinking. Ah, Matthew. I literally hit that exactly where I wanted and it's done nothing. Well, that's an annoying way to round out nine holes. One over par with a three put there. Just a little bit unfortunate with that wedge and left it in the worst possible place, but happy with how that nine's gone overall. Just need to get a little bit tighter with that short game coming in and we should, should get the job done. Let's get on to that back nine. Our 10th hole here, right by the clubhouse. We've actually just uh, had the whole decking redone here. Nice big outdoor patio overlooking the putting greens and everything and over the 18th hole, nice spot to have a little beer in this weather. We might partake in one of those later, but 10th hole is par three. It's 205 today. The front's only 185. So good six iron, I think here. Well struck one leaves me. Nice little putt at it. Let's see if we can carry on and just really just push the boundaries now of score. Turn in, be the number. Hit that well, just a bit more wind up there than I thought. It looked like it was gonna be a dunk town, but one more club needed, I think. 2.05 into the wind. Mm. Oh well, can't do more than hit the shot you thought you wanted to. That's what you gotta do, bro. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, one more club was needed up here, but pretty straightforward put up the hill. That wind's just a little a little brisker and the temperature's just dropped ever so slightly. Almost feels like winter out here. Straight up, let's cosy this up. Get back on the, uh, the steady train and we're good. Sit. Ooh, pretty happy with that one. Just a little bit further than I wanted, but overall, Pretty good putt. 
take that little tiny little knee knocker down the hill there, a bit of right to left in it, but tidied up nicely and a nice little start to the back nine. I'm going to be chasing shadows around here now. It's getting a little bit dark. Sun's going to start setting soon, but we should be good. On the 11th hole, which is a nice little par four, just dog legging slightly right to left up the hill, 365 yards and bunker at uh, 195 to cover. And the next one's 235, so it's just driver. There's loads of room out there. Just give it a, a blast up the right wing and leave us a nice little pitch up into the green. It's going up the hill, so ideally I have about 50 yards or so left into this one. Down the fairway where we wanted. Ooh, sit. Job done. Fairway found. Let's go. Got 90 yards to the flag. It's pretty much straight uphill. It's 100 to the back, so it must be pretty close to the back. So if we can get one stuck in close here, that would be pretty nice. Be the right number. It looked good. Looked like it had a little bit of action on there. A little bit of skirt, 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 skirt. And then it should be close to the flag. So, you know, golf's great. Life's great. It's all about playing golf in the sun. It's what we love. The old skirt, skirt did us there. We actually needed to pitch it a little bit longer because it's come back away from the hole, but still a nice distance. It's only about 12 feet. We can get this boxed in then we're off to the races folks we are off to the races that was a filthy 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 horseshoe oh dead weight as well sometimes the game is cruel Right, let's keep pushing, keep giving ourselves chances, that's all we can do. Our 12th hole plays 370 yards straight down here. It's um, a bunker on 245 we've got to avoid and then one at two, uh, sorry, three, 325. So just drive her away. It's pretty open this back nine compared to the front nine. So if we can get a good one away, we might get near the green. It's so far right. Four, four. Let's go and find it. Right, a little bit off the beaten path here. Luckily, it was one of the holes where you could spray it a bit, but I've only got about 75 yards to the flag. Just got to try and see where it is. Got to get down low, get into the grass figure it out there it is there she is right 89 to the middle play this as if it's 80 yards oh, pulled it go on down the slope down the slope keep going keep going keep going keep going it's not too bad I've got about 15 feet just pulled it off that liar thought again I was going to squirt out right, so I defended against it. So I should have let it do what it wanted to do, and we would have been spot on, but putting for birdie again. That's all we can ask for. A little bit down here, a little bit left to right. Be nice to knock one in. That would be nice. Is now the time? Don't leave it short. Oh, devastating. Great line, just a couple of couple of rolls shy of being in the bucket. But that's golf. Let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. We're chasing the sun. Hopefully we can get round. If we don't, it might be a 16-hole comp this one, but fingers crossed we get all the way round. Teed off a bit late because it's our first day and we're getting over jet lag. But uh, I think we should be okay. Let's keep it going on to the 13th. Find a fairway, that would do me. Find a fairway. 
13th hole's 386 yards. A bunker at 275, we've just got to get over. Little dog leg right to left. If we get over the corner, then it's game on for wedging in close. Just need to get a little bit of gripper where the tee shots are going. They've been a little bit loose, but let's see if we can get up and around this corner. And we should, should be okay. Perfect shot that should be. Should be pretty good. Over the corner with a smack. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Right, nice little 300 yarder through the air there. 77 now. Just need a little half 50, four degree. And stick it in close. Oh, Matthew. That was rubbish. That was just, shouldn't let timings get to you, but waiting around a bit and it's just let me go there. Let me go. Not the best one there. Not the best work from young Friar. Let's see if he can regain a little bit of dignity by knocking in a 25 footer. Little bit up the hill, little bit of left to right. I'm going to leave the flag in. Oh, to Matt Fitzpatrick. Won at the weekend, so you know he's he's smart. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, baby, let's go. It's all down to you, Fitzy. Down to you, Fitzy lad. Little bird dog right there. Ho, ho, ho takes us back to level par. It's all about putting with the flag and that's where I've gone wrong for these first 12 holes. Should have had the stick in and I would have been seven deep by now. Right, 14th hole, 380 yards, bunker at 260 to clear just down the left that we can see. Let's just get a big drive away again. Hopefully a better wedge and another good putt. That is just down the right side, should be A1. Down the spout, my son. Down the spout. <laughs> right. 70 yards up to the flag. We're going straight uphill, a bit of a blind one. 60 degree. Let's try and get one up in close, I think. Ooh, I've pulled it a tad. I think I might have gone a little bit long there. Shut the face a tad and it's gone left and long but we shall see i think i underestimated how much that was uphill because it's pitched and stopped right where it is it's probably an extra 10 yards that was playing it was down at the bottom of the the volcano it was same length as the last though i'm gonna leave the flag in a little bit of lefty righty this one's for you fitzy I knew I'd under hit that, but it looked like it was actually just gonna creep all the way up. Oh, not the end of the world. It's another par. Played very, very steady today. I've enjoyed this first round out here in California. The West Coast suits me. Oh, cameraman nearly died then, but we're okay. Yeah, I like it out here. Weather's good. People are good, golf courses are good, food's good. Can't really ask for much more than that. Right, the 15th hole is a bit of a risk and reward one, but I can't quite see the green, so I'm just gonna hit a five iron down. It's only 300 yards, the water's at 200, so knock it down, leave myself a pitch, try and hit a decent one, and we should have another chance at birdie. Otherwise, if I'm not quite sure, I'll be a bit steery if I was to hit three woods so this seems like the easiest play going that'll do on the fairway wedge across couldn't be easier 155 downhill down wind playing from the roof bit of snaggly rough here i think a little nine iron or just a normal nine iron and we're Good from here. Come on. Chasing the light and we're chasing those birdies. It's 
splash. Call that fat, great. Right, take two. Stop fading. Just short right. Just short right, not ideal, but chip and a putt, limit the damage now. That's all we've got to do, limit the damage. Right, come on. Let's have another little chip in that'll help this cause. Lovely touch, just a little bit pushy, a little bit pushy. Ah, that's frustrating. Just caught that ground early on the previous one at possibly the worst point. Right, double par, double par, double bogey actually. I wish it was a double par. Six takes us now to two over par with three left to play. We do have a 5 3 5 finish. We're chasing the light. It's going to be a little bit of a dramatic finish. Let's see if we can get in. Let's see if we can get a couple of birdies to finish because I think that would be just, to be fair. Just poor choice off that tee, knowing the hole now I would stand there and hit three wood all day over there because there's no trouble but that's golf hindsight be a beautiful thing 555 is the uh, 16th bottlenecks down at about 300 so I'm going to hit my hybrid because there's a bunker at 250 to get by then we should be able to give it a dig up at the green if we get this safely down there The straightest shot we have hit all day. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. I actually struggled to see the ball then. I uh, obviously intended to fat that three wood because now I've left myself the perfect distance with my 54 110. Just one of these, tap it in, and job is good. Job is good. I think, yeah, looks about 10 foot, maybe. Pretty hard to see because it's nearly pitch black, but should be pretty decent. Have a little roll ski at it. Right, guys, thanks for watching this far. If you've sticked around with us, unfortunately, the light is drawing in quickly. We've just been caught a little bit by the pace of play today. I thought we were going to get round, but we're going to try and play it out anyway. Course has been fantastic. Twin Oaks has been such a joy to play. I'm looking forward to more West Coast golf. JC um, Estates, thank you for sorting this one out. Season three of In the Red. Let's hope that we can box it off, maybe get back to level par. That will be mega. Stay tuned for plenty more coming from here in America. Let's see if we can get through these next couple. It draws in quick here, folks. It draws in quick. There we go, baby. There's one birdie. Just play in the dark more often. All you got to do is not look where you're going and not aim where you're going, and it goes in. That's a cheeky two. Touch like golf, baby. Well, there we go, in the dark, absolute darkness, one over par. Guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.